My name is Mickey Pardo. Uh, I'm a postdoctoral researcher from Colorado State University in the United States, and I'm here to study vocal communication in African elephants. When I come to the field, I bring some specialized equipment to help me record the elephant calls. So this here, is an Earthworks QTC40 microphone. Basically, this is a microphone that's designed um, specially to record low frequency sounds. Um, some of the frequencies in elephant calls are so low that humans actually can't hear them. Um, I also have a recorder that also has to be capable of handling low frequencies. And then this, mic this microphone, um, which is basically um, a microphone that court reporters use to dictate um, their, their notes sort of like a, a little isolating chamber. So this allows me to give verbal annotations at the same time as I'm recording the elephants. I also usually will measure the distance from the elephant to, um, to the microphone. Uh, and the reason for that is mostly that um, I don't really want to use recordings that are from too far away because the, some of the, um, the frequencies within the call will be attenuated or lost with distance. So um, I will also measure the distance from the microphone to the elephant using this device, which is a, a laser range finder. Elephants are one of the, the few species of mammals other than humans that are able to learn to produce new sounds and we don't really know why they have this ability. Um, one possibility is that they might use it to learn names for one another. So in order to, to investigate that idea, what I'm doing right now is I'm recording calls from different elephants and noting both the identity of the caller and the identity of the individual who responds to the call. And the idea is that if the elephants are using different calls to address different members of their family, then two calls recorded from the same caller but addressed to different recipients should have different acoustic properties. The leaderboard has been with the project almost two years now, so he knows all the elephants in the park, um, which is really incredible. And then also he knows all the roads in the park, which is really key because we have to get within, say, about 20 meters of the elephants to get good quality recordings. Being able to work with Save the Elephants is hugely helpful because the elephants in Samburu have all been identified. We know their relationships to each other. So a lot of the initial legwork for this project has already been done. And uh, hopefully within a few years time, we'll be able to discover some new and fascinating information about elephant behavior.